Okay, in this video we're going to go over basic goalkeeping rules. Um, this is primarily for coaches or parents that um, have a, a player that's being introduced to the position. Um, this will give you a quick overview of the exact rules for the, of the goalkeeper. First we're going to go over the actual boundaries of the goalkeeper. This is called the goal, the penalty box or penalty area. It's a larger box here. and The goalkeeper can use their hands inside, anywhere inside this box. Once the goalkeeper leaves this box, they are like a regular field player and need to use their feet, chest, anything but their hands, just like a normal field player. So as long as the goalkeeper is in this box, they can use their hands anywhere inside the box. Now, if the goalkeeper's body is outside the box, but the ball and their hands are inside the box, that is perfectly legal. Okay? It is illegal and will be a... a a free kick if the goalkeeper reaches outside the box even though the body's in here and reaches outside the box and grabs the ball. That is a handball. Once a goalkeeper catches the ball they have six seconds to throw the ball or kick the ball out to their um, teammate. Now they can run all over this box for six seconds without putting the ball down, carrying the ball in their hands. But they have six seconds to get rid of the ball to a teammate. Especially for the younger ages, the best way to distribute the ball out of the box would be throwing the ball or rolling the ball to a teammate. Uh, many times the younger ages you're not able to punt the ball yet um, or not good at punting the ball yet. So throwing the ball would be much more effective at that age. And again, they do not have to throw the ball like you would in a throw-in. As a field player, you can throw the ball like a baseball or, or throw the, roll the ball as if you were bowling. There are no restrictions on how you distribute the ball, whether it's throwing it or punting it. If a teammate deliberately plays a ball back to the goalie, the goalkeeper cannot pick the ball up with their hands. They must play it with their feet. If their teammate plays it back to them deliberately, they must not pick it up with their hands, they must play the ball with their feet as if they are a field player. If they decide to pick it up after being played back by a teammate, it would be a free kick where they picked it up. If a teammate uses their head or chest to play the ball back to their goalkeeper, then the goalkeeper can pick it up. If they play with their feet deliberately, they cannot, but if they use their head or their chest, goalkeeper can pick it up with their hands. If the goalie makes a save and has the ball in their hands and then decides to put the ball down on the ground to their feet, they cannot pick the ball back up again. They now become a regular field player and must play the ball out with their feet. They cannot pick the ball up again. And just a quick overview. This is the penalty area, the 18 yards, normally 18 yards where a goalkeeper can use their hands inside this area. Uh, once the goalkeeper does have control of the ball in their hands, they have six seconds to get rid of the ball out of their hands. They can either throw it or kick it. They become a field player if they decide after catching the ball to put the ball down at their feet or their teammate plays the ball back to them deliberately. I hope this helps in introducing the goalkeeping position to your players.